So this is a $30 lapel mic with transmitter and receiver. We're going to check its physical overview, features, and of course, the most important part, the sound test. All of this information you need to know, coming up. Hey what's up guys, it's Mac here and we do a lot of tech review videos like this one in this channel so if this is your first time, consider subscribing. With that said, let's start the review of this product. First, let's check out what's in the box. Of course, the lapel mic itself with windscreen, the headset's mic with windscreen as well, the transmitter, the receiver, a 6.35mm jack to 3.5mm jack converter, a USB charger, and some documentations. Now let's check out some physical overview. First, the lapel mic. It is made out of cheap looking plastic covered with windscreen and with a cable length around 3 feet. And this is the headset with metal part over here and a flexible mic extension with windscreen as well. Now let's check out the transmitter. It is small and compact and feels premium in my opinion. The body is made out of metal and a sturdy looking plastic on the top and the bottom. It has a short antenna, mic input, and a power button. So the mic input is shorter than the standard 3.5mm jack. I figured that I should point that out. Underneath is where you'll find the charging input and it lights up in red when charging and green when the charging is done. And over this side is where you will find a simple screen indicator where you will see the battery status, signal to receiver status, and channel configuration. So the two buttons near the screen is for volume up and down in a single press. And if you press both at the same time, it changes the frequency channel. Now let's check out the receiver. It has the same build as the transmitter with an antenna on the side, a charging input, a power button, and some lighting indicators. As for the charging lighting indicator, it has the same concept as the transmitter. It also has a mic signal indicator, blue being idle, and it flashes in green when you start speaking using the mic. And the last lighting indicator is for the battery status, blue for full charge, and red when the battery status is very low. Okay, enough with the physical overview, and let me show you a quick look on the specifications before we proceed on the sound check. So these are the specifications, if you want to take a good look, just check this out and pause the video. By the way, I'm going to record this using OBS Studio without post-processing, but it is directly plugged into the Behringer Zenix Show 2 with a flat highs and lows, so that you will be able to hear the actual sound of the mics. After that, we will tweak the audio interface a little bit so that it will have a good and appropriate sound for my voice. So without further ado, let's begin. Check 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the sound of the lapel mic plugged into the Behringer Zenix 302 with lows and highs in flat level. And right now, this is the sound of the lapel mic using the Behringer Zenix 302 with custom level lows and highs. I think this is the best thing we could do with this uh, mic. I mean, I'm talking about the configuration since the Xenix 302 is very limited. We don't have a mid-range level that we could arrange. So as of now, this is the best thing we could do. And this is the sound of the mic, lapel mic rather, using Xenix 302. Check 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the sound of the headset's mic. Plug into the Behringer Xenix 302 with lows and highs in flat level. So this is the sound of the headset's mic plugged into the Behringer Xenix 302 with custom level lows and highs. And this is the best thing that we could do. And there's something I need to point out that if, I don't know if this will be heard but somehow it is uh, it's static. So if you could just uh, listen to this. I'm, uh, I was trying to touch the metal part on the plug going to the transmitter and it seems that it's a bit static. So anyway, I'm not sure how to fix this but I figured out that I should point this to the audience. So we are back with the lapel mic so that we could uh, figure out what is the polar pattern of this mic. So I will be turning this mic around. 
so that we will be able to figure out what is the polar pattern of this mic right now I am turning it over and sidewards and upwards downwards and all the way so as you can hear the scratching thing so I'm sorry about that but it seems like this is an omnidirectional and it is a good one for a lapel mic and we are back with the headsets mic and this time we're going to check it as well so I'm going to turn it around so uh, I just want to remind you this to turn your volume down because it will have a lot of background noise anyway let's begin so right now I am turning the mic around so that we'll be able to know what is the polar pattern of this mic and it seems like it is a cardioid type I'm not sure but let me know what you think in the comment section below after testing it for quite some time now for its price for quality I can say it's okay nothing too impressive but not too bad either I suggest if you're going to use this, make sure you have a good audio interface or a good mixer. But if you're going to plug this directly to your camera's mic input, I don't think it's going to cut it. Well, I can say right now, I simply recommend this set to anyone who is in a budget, unwanted or wireless solution. But if you're looking for a professional sound, I guess you needed to spend more. With that said, you can check out the link in the description below of my recommendations. And just so you know, if you are using those affiliate links in the description below, you are supporting this channel. And for that, I want to thank you. So that's it guys. If you found this video interesting and helpful, make sure to give us a thumbs up and share it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.